You're tired of your wallet getting screwed over by greedy GPU manufacturers. So you get mad at me. For what? Not crying hard enough on your behalf? That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. If prices are out of control, it's because gamers keep paying them. So if you're not happy, do something. Here, allow me to demonstrate. Oh, bravo, Linus. You patronizing Canadian f You have more GPUs than any man could hope to use in a lifetime. Your performative little boycott means nothing. That's true, but yours means a lot. And you don't even have to put off your next system upgrade to do it. All you need is a little bit of Scrapyard War spirit. Thanks to a combination of factors, whether it's the GPU mining crash or pandemic gamers who are no longer finding time for the hobby, there's a veritable abundance of secondhand GPUs out there. So let's do some deal hunting, shall we? Oh, and some sponsor hunting. I begged a paradox. Their hit 4X strategy game Stellaris is free to play this weekend. Check it out starting on the 22nd on Steam or at the link down below. The main advantages to buying new are that it's fast, convenient, and covered by warranty in the event that something goes wrong. So secondhand shopping is not for everyone. But by following some simple guidelines, it is a great way to save money. Rule number one, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Look at this, a 6900 XT for just 300 bucks? Oh wait, parts only. Parts only is just another way of saying e-waste. It is possible that with the soldering skills of Lewis Rossman you could salvage it, but even then it wouldn't be a guarantee and you are not going to be getting your money back if you fail. So look closely at every listing and use your common sense. Rule number two is to trust your gut. If a seller gives you any indication, I mean at all, that they're sketchy, bail hard. There are plenty of other fish in the sea. Common examples of sketchy behavior, at least for in-person pickups, include things like refusing to send you a picture of their car or what they look like to facilitate meeting up, or if they refuse to meet in a well-lit public place. And then probably the biggest red flag for an online transaction would be trying to move the deal off of the platform where it's advertised, say for example eBay, and then demanding payment up front. Now, eBay does have high transaction fees, so I can understand why even a legitimate seller might want to try to avoid paying them. But the thing is, those transaction fees are for your benefit in the form of extremely strong buyer protections. And as soon as you send the money off platform, it's basically up to the honor code of the individual seller to put your order in the mail. So um, good luck with that. Which isn't to say that you have to buy on eBay. In fact, the best deal that we tracked down was on a classified site, Facebook Marketplace to be exact, and we're on our way there right now. Though I realize I've gotten ahead of myself a little bit here. First, we need to decide what to buy. With current GPUs, it's pretty easy because recent reviews will contain performance numbers across a wide range of games. The 6700 XT, for example, looks really good in our recent coverage of the 4060 Ti. Where it gets tricky is comparing across generations. Very few reviews of the 4070, for example, include comparison numbers for the 2080 Ti, even though these cards perform within about 20% of each other. I mean, I get it, publications can't be expected to test cards forever, but wading through garbage results from user benchmark and fluff pieces like this one with no actual testing can be a challenge when secondhand shoppers or upgraders are looking to understand how much benefit they'll get from the latest shiny. Now our intention is to solve this in the long term with the upcoming labs website, but that's gonna take us some time. For now, we can bridge the gap by comparing each new generation to the last, so we can see the 4070 is pretty close to the 3080, then we compare the 3080 to the 2080 Ti. But at its best, this is an inexact science, even if we have the know-how to find reputable sites with consistent test methodologies. So I'm gonna do the work for you. For enthusiast gamers, the deal to beat right now is a second-hand 3080 10 gig. It's got enough GPU grunt and VRAM for the latest titles, it supports most of NVIDIA's latest AI tomfoolery, and it can be had for around $400 or even less if you're patient. Then there's the 3070. This is a really solid runner-up if you don't need the performance of the 3080. And obviously, if you can score a sweet deal on a 12 gig 3080 
or a 3080 Ti, well then that's great too, but I didn't really see anything that caught my eye. Dropping down to the 3060 range, we do save some money, but you're not getting the same kind of bang for the buck. I really wanna see these going for more like 220 to 230 dollars. And if we go back a generation, the RTX 2080 Ti is still a very capable card. It just seems like sellers are kind of deluded as to what these things are worth. I found one attractive deal, but most of them were well over $300. Come on, guys. I know your GPU is only two generations old, but it came out nearly five years ago, which means that even if we ignore downsides like much worse ray tracing performance and extra power draw, it's a lot closer to losing driver support than a 30 series would be. With that said, if I was on a bit of a tighter budget, I would say that the 20 series has some very attractive bargains, namely the 2070 Super and the 2080. Or there's the RX 5700 XT from Team Red. All of those can be had in the $150 to $200 price range if you're patient. Speaking of AMD, normally Team Red cards are great fodder for secondhand shoppers, but that just doesn't seem to be the case at the moment. If I had to guess, I'd say it's a combination of two things. One, they aren't as popular, so there aren't as many flooding the market right now. And two, AMD has implemented some serious price drops recently that don't seem to really be reflected in the used market. On the lower end, look at these prices for 6650 XTs. It literally costs more than just buying a brand new one. And then on the high end, Look at this 6800, just under $500 brand new. I mean, sure, it could be had for about $100 less used, but the new one is new and it comes with a game bundle. That's kind of a no-brainer to me. We're gonna have some choice AMD cards linked down below if you must have a brand new card with a warranty. On that subject, I've got a great pro tip for you savvy shoppers out there. Pretty much every RTX 3080 comes with a three-year warranty. And since the 3080 came out less than three years ago, as long as the seller gives you the original receipt, you should still be covered by the manufacturer warranty. Now, some of them are gonna try to weasel out of it. Oh, it only applies to the original buyer, but if you want my advice, don't give them a chance. Just submit your support ticket with whatever name's on the invoice. How can they prove my name isn't Gaben McLovin? Ship the replacement to my new address then, please. Got it. Now, there are a couple of things that I forgot to mention earlier. Some cards are gonna come with accessories that you will want to make sure are included. For example, this 12 pin power adapter is needed to connect a 30 series card to an older power supply. Oh wait, this card doesn't have a 12 pin. Well, if you buy a founder's edition, you are going to need the adapter. Oh right, and we actually saw a 3080 Ti that was only a little bit more than this 3080. And the only reason we didn't jump on it was because I felt it wasn't really representative of the kind of deals that you guys could expect to find. And it's a good thing we skipped it because we just came across this post warning other users about that scammer. This is a really common move where people will ask for a deposit to hold the card and then just keep your money and ghost you. Never pay a deposit. Only exchange money once you have the item in your hands. In the old days, I would even take it a step further. I would ask sellers if they could put the card in a working system so that I could see it in action, or even let me bring my own test bench and hook it up to that. But that's not always possible, and I'm a lot less worried about a card that I still have warranty on for a full year. Time for the moment of truth. I've talked a pretty good game so far, but is this actually faster than what I could have gotten brand new? To find out, we're gonna be drag racing it against the brand new 4060 Ti in Returnal, F122, and Far Cry 6 using our new and improved workflow with our automated Mark Bench software. Ooh. Well, that's not the uh, smoothest fan I've ever encountered. She's a little on the loud side, boys. And we're gonna have harnesses for games that don't support in-game benchmarking like uh, Flight Sim soon, right? Yeah. Sick. Test parameter, uh, 1080. games for 1080? Th yeah. This is a 3080, this sir. Is, yes, but this is also a pathetic card. Oh, right. <laughs> and then do I need a tag for it? 3080 nope. maybe? No? No, nope. it automatically uh, saves that data when it pulls it up. Sick. Yeah. Okay, now I get to drag race them? Yeah, you can just hit run selected and then go at it. Three, two, one. 
Oh, oh, that, I clicked that one a little later, don't worry. Not thrilled about that crusty fan. But while we were on our break, I found out that replacement fans are a lot easier to get your hands on these days than they used to be. Like, they're in the neighborhood of 10, 15, 20 bucks. Wow. That is not even close. Uh, see you later, 4060 Ti. Sure, I've got to replace this fan, but guys, I am 20 plus percent faster at 1080p and that performance gap only widens as I increase the resolution that I'm gaming at or as I run games that have heavier demands on my VRAM. So I'm freaking thrilled. I won the game. Oh, and you won this segue to our sponsor. Squarespace, are you looking to create a website but lack the technical expertise? Squarespace is here to help. Their all-in-one platform simplifies the process of getting your website up and running quickly. With Squarespace, you can grow your business online through their marketing features, which include SEO support, email campaigns, and social tools. They offer a wide selection of award-winning mobile-optimized templates, and their commerce platform provides everything you need from merchandising to checkout. You can also access analytic insights to optimize your website's performance and identify areas that need improvement. If you require assistance or just get lonely sometimes, Squarespace has a 24 seven support team and help guides if strangers frighten you. Visit squarespace.com forward slash LTT to receive 10% off your first purchase. If you guys enjoyed this video, what the hey? Why don't you go watch an old series of Scrapyard Wars? Those were a lot of fun back when we could do them. Do we need to bring it back? Like now that yeah, there's actually deals back. to be had? Bring it back. Yeah, okay. It'll be, it'll be Gary versus Tim. Scrapyard Wars Battle of the Labs team. I win. <laughs> you win. Oh, 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 what? What? what?